I just went <laughs> and quoted a, a job I'm gonna do tomorrow for the father of the first girl I ever slept with. <laughs> when I got there, he was like, so how do you know? And then his daughter's name. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, she stole my virginity, but I can't say that to her dad. <laughs> it's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, first things first, let's get you mounted. Second thing, second, I'm sitting in a parking lot about to eat pizza, talking to myself. Third things third, I just saw another guy in the parking lot eating a pizza hot and ready because that's what's happening today. But he had a plate. He literally had a traveling pizza plate. I'm not talking like paper plate, mock plate. I'm talking full on Nana Grandma ceramic from the heirlooms on his lap, dipping his... <laughs> Little Caesars, that's what's happening today. You'll see it in the title, probably. Maybe not actually know it's going to be titled something different because I think maybe a subscriber of mine that I used to talk to, I have a feeling that she's like not with us anymore. And I'll never know if she is or not unless this video reaches her and she reaches out to me. But I am scared of that. That's a whole side note. I don't know where we're at. Fourth thing's fourth. It's getting hot. I have to derobe. And fifth thing is fifth is we got a pie in the sky. But I, <laughs> your guy, is going to try a little sneaky move. I'm not doing a pepperoni and cheese today. For some reason, the Supreme is calling my name. So let's bring it down in for a real thing, Cam. And also I have a crazy, I went full crazy on, on, on my beverage too, but I'll reveal that soon. Okay. Okay, so here's today's special. We got a creamy garlic and a Rizzy Ranch. And then we got the hot ready little Caesars deal of the day oh wee that's a nice looking supreme wow that actually looks so so clutch especially on this cinematic cam that thing's looking real real nice all right let's get into a bite all right a couple things before we start gotta crack the window even though it's kind of obnoxious outside it's just it's heating up it's pretty warm it wasn't that warm earlier but now it's past dinner time and uh she's heating up also what i noticed about this cinematic cam is that it's way like closer to me to my beak so maybe i'll try to slide back in the in the seat and give you more of more of me if you need more of me but also for trying to get try to get the the stupid shit you know So crack these, gotta crack the creamy, gotta crack a ranch. We're on the flight path, the airport is right there. So we'll probably have many, many plane interruptions, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> it's all good, isn't it? All right, the beverage selection went crazy. Dr. Pepper and cream soda. I'm actually just gonna hit a little sippity dippity of that off rip. Dr. Pepper is already cream soda e as it is. You know what? It's pretty good. It's just got a little more like twist of vanilla kind of flavor, but it's nothing crazy. It would be an absolute hitter if it was on ice, but unfortunately we're rocking on uh we're rocking straight out the bottle, out the cooler, out the fridge. It's not going to be the hottest, or not going to be the hottest, the coldest. This is the hottest, though. A little undercooked on the crust, but whatever. It's all good. So, sausage, mushroom, onion, green pepper, pepperoni. Shut the fuck up and eat, right? Yeah, I don't know you're thinking it. He's thinking it, too. Or he's asking. He's probably asking for a slice. Which reminded me, or reminds of me, Reminds of Mia. Uh, yes. Glippy dippy bites. Cloppy doppy bites. Of something I saw on uh, like a short, and that was that apparently. There's like some birds, crows being one of them. <laughs> a 
that if you feed them often enough, they start to understand that like you're in a barter system. And like a uh, carrying pigeon or whatever, they'll start to bring you like when they come to get food from you. I know I have shit all over my face, I'm sorry. They'll <laughs> bring you uh, trinkets and offerings, but this one guy, <laughs> like a, like a, like the monkeys in Thailand and shit, <laughs> trying to train them to bring you money. Although we're living in a digital so society now, so not many bills and coins laying around, <laughs> but apparently in certain places, there's people who try to train up the birds to bring them back that moolala, you know, he's always got it. Shot towels, a secret little bit of shot towels, always laying around when I forget the napkins. I was parked in a completely offbeat, far location and I got company. Buddy just pulled in right beside me and I'm like <clears throat> way off in the distance. I don't know what this guy's deal is. He's an old guy, but man, this pizza's looking so like cartoon level good right now. So much so that I'm willing to have a bite. Just straight up. <laughs> no obnoxious amount of dipping sauce. Mm. It's nice to taste all the toppings intermingling for once. <laughs> I have no idea what this dude's doing, but I think he's taking a piss. He's looking down. He's really old. He's got a walker in his back seat. So clearly he has probably some mobility issues. He probably didn't want to have to go into a restaurant, but this is the second time. I don't think he's spotted me up. I don't know what he's doing. Now he's bent over the hood of his car, making a weird face. This is very strange. I still don't think he has any idea, idea that I'm like here. <laughs> Very weird. Another video of mine <laughs> was at the, really across the street, grocery store. There was a guy with his wang out when I was starting to film taking a pee on the side of the building too. Whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do. Who hasn't taken taken a pee in a weird place? I know I certainly have. Oh, now he's, <laughs> this is a whole, I had other things to talk about in this video, AKA the subscriber that I, of mine that just has kind of gone missing. I'll, I'll talk, we'll talk about that, but now I got tonight's entertainment here and now he's doing the same thing as me. He's eating McDonald's. So he took a piss. Now he's having McDonald's. Okay, he had a couple fries and now he's backing out. <laughs> and I'm dipping in. Now I got the place back to myself. Sorry, I just got it. These bites are looking flames. See, this is the ranch instead of the creamy. They're both good. I can't pick a favorite. All right, so. On to my main worry here. 
over the years I've had subscribers who follow me on Instagram, follow me back, eventually like we just start talking and shit. And she was one of those people. But she used to have a channel herself. Videos are still up, but she did it for a little while, but she didn't go like all in, but she's called Hungry Holly. And she had two different Instagram profiles. And uh, I haven't heard a word from her or I haven't seen a post from her on either profile. And I'm talking like a good long time. Like a year type thing, maybe longer. But she's someone who I would often hear from if like we weren't, if we didn't talk, you know, every month or so, like every once in a blue moon, she'd like, we would just, she would hit me up or something or I'd see a post or whatever. But I've seen nothing from her in a long, long time. And like me, she's a bit younger, but she, um, She's a little bit of a, she was a little bit of a troubled soul. Definitely liked to indulge and maybe abuse alcohol and substances. But very of that same ilk, like that lost soulish, troubled soulish type vibe. And uh, I just, I would love to know if she was still alive, but I have this weird feeling that like her uh, vices got the best of her or, you know, when you're messing around with, uh, certain powders nowadays you're gonna find yourself maybe having an accidental OD because some shit's cut in there and that shit that's cut in there do be killing people right the Fenty So I'm been worried and I just have no no way to contact her. To see if she's all good, but that's that weird screwed up part about life about, about like the internet stuff too is you could know like you'll just never know if somebody might have died. You just wouldn't have really a way of knowing. And that messes me with me to think like, maybe she's moved on with her life and said, screw these Instagram pages. Most people generally take them down though. Maybe she decided to become completely inactive and just doesn't go on them anymore. And is just living, which I hope is the case. But in my gut, I don't think so, I can feel it. I just have this bad feeling that something bad has happened to her. So if you're seeing this video, Holly, just message on Instagram and just be like, I'm all right. I just been off the internet, been working, whatever, focusing on other shit. But it's just, uh, it's worrisome. Cause you could, you, you know, just might never know and that person could have been gone for months, like actually gone, gone for months. And you just wouldn't, you would not know. And you may never know for the rest of your life, <laughs> which is crazy.
on another note, <laughs> I just went <laughs> and quoted a, a job I'm going to do tomorrow for a, the father of the first girl I ever slept with. <laughs> And uh, when I got there to look at what, what all needed to be done, he's like, so how do you know? And then his daughter's name. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, she stole my virginity, <laughs> but I can't say that to her dad. <laughs> so I was just like, uh, you know, just from around like mutual friends and, and the bar. Um, well, hey, that'll be $600, please. I'm not, I'm not charging that much. 300 Just a $300 cleanup job. Yeah, this place renoed, and I'm just going to, like, clean up the, the shit that's got to go and go dispose of it pretty good coin for what I'm gonna have to do shouldn't be too, shouldn't be too crazy of work one big big load I have a trailer that I'm just borrowing for the job from a friend so kind of works out like I can just back of the truck trailer basically a load and call the job done so Working for yourself is nice. If you can get consistent work like this for yourself, it's nice. But like being an independent contractor, you have to find ways to get leads and like market yourself around. And I'm pretty good at that with Facebook marketplace and like all that stuff. And I'm not like, it's pretty easy to find leads, but you're contending with established companies that have fleets and shit. So it's like, but if you can offer a much lower, you know, out with the cost charge less than the other guys lots of people will go with the independent contractor because they're just like people want to save money and i'm down to undercut the guys that have a fleet you know because why not even when you undercut st still decent pretty decent money so but i just would w wish to have my calendar stacked full but there's something i said to make a hundred grand a year you only have to make Every day, if you were, were to work every day, you wanted to work every day, it's something like you only have to make like $292 per day all year. Like you would never get days off. That's if you could just find a way to make $300 a day every single day, that's over a hundred grand a year. And that in my head, I'm like, that doesn't seem that difficult. There's got to be ways to make $500 a day. It's not easy, but there's got to be ways. Once you find the way, then you'll probably like, oh, this is easy. I don't know. All I know is that's a, that's a real thing. If you do the math, it's only something like 300 bucks a day to make 100 grand a year. When you break it down like that, you kind of get a different motivation, but a motivation. All right, six slices slammed. This Dr. Pepper. not slam just sipped pretty good i'm saving the rest so i can bring it home and like really put it on ice and just like super enjoy a really nice cold icy one and just it'll bring those flavors out much much better um that's it for today i hope that my subscriber friend is not perished and is still alive and uh that'll conclude that so until the next one eat good live well stay true if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.